Here we have come with a new session of scientific facts where we are going to discuss about the different types of scientific facts in each of the session. So now today, in today's session, we are going to discuss about something about the camels. Okay, so why do you think that they have humps? So any idea? Quickly tell me in the chat box. So we are going to discuss about the camels. Who are they? Where do they live? What are the different characteristic features of the camel? And the most important focus is why do they have the hump? The hump is not present in any other animals, no? So why do they have specifically the hump? We are going to see that. And then we were going to discuss about some of the interesting facts of the camel. Okay, now starting with which uh, which are the characteristic features of the camel or who are the camels? So first of all, as you already know that camels are herbivores because they only feed on the plants, right? Secondly, they are the ruminant animals. What do you mean by ruminant? Yes, anybody can you tell me? Ruminant means they regurgitate and they chew the cud. Okay, and they have the different chambers in their stomach so that they can properly digest the cellulose of the plant. Okay, now where do we get these camels? Where can we see? We cannot see them in the polar region or anywhere in the road they are roaming around. No, they are specifically found in the desert areas. Uh, generally, we call them as the arid and the semi arid regions. Okay, uh, in India, you will find it in the Thor Desert. Okay, now coming to the most usefulness of this animal. So, they can be domesticated. Why? Because we get the milk, meat um, from the camels, we get the fur of the camels, which are used to make the different uh, cloths in the textile industries, as well as. Um, they are very, very important, very, very useful for transportation in the desert. So, they used to transport the people as well as the huge loads of luggages from one place to another, okay, across the desert. And the very important characteristic features about their body is they at least will have one hump. Sometimes they also have two humps on their back, long curved neck they have and the tufted tail and broad feet. So we will see why do they have them and what are the usefulness of all these characteristic features of the camel. Now, if we think about the categories below, like in which the camels belong, definitely they are the animals, so they will be included under the animal kingdom. Then phylum is caudata because they have the vertebral column properly. So they are the vertebrates and we can call them as the phylum caudata. Thirdly, they are included under the class mammalia because they are the mammals. They uh, feed their young ones, they give birth to the young ones. Okay. And Coming to the order family, uh, order they are belonging to the artiodactyli uh, family will be camelidae. And if we think about the genus and species which will determine like which will give them the scientific name that is Camelus bactrianus. So this is only one type of species. The scientific name is given over here. But there are a lot of different types of camels. We are going to discuss how many types of camels are there in the end of the session also. Okay, now our main focus is about their hump. Now, anybody can you tell me what is that hump? What do they store in the what uh, hump, or uh, what is the main purpose of having the hump in camel? Yes. So, from many of the students, I get the answer that they store the water in the hump because they do not get water in the desert areas for a long period of time. Do you think that is a correct answer? Yes? No, right? So, they actually do not store the water in the hump. Rather, they store the fat in the hump. So, got your answer? Always remember, they do not store the water or hold the water in their hump. Rather, they store the fat. Now, why do they store the fat? What will they do with the fat? Of course, the fat will give them the energy for doing a lot of different types of work in the desert region where they will get no food and no water for a long period of time, right? So, they utilize that fat and get the energy 
for a long period of time when there is very less amount of food or water. So after this using up of the fat of the hump, what will happen? The hump will droop down. Okay, so for this they can stay a long period of time up to 15 days without water. Can you imagine? Yes? Okay, now let's see some of the characteristic features which help them to stay in the desert. So some of the characteristic features I have already told you while uh, studying about the characteristics of the camel. The first one is they have flat feet. As you already know, they spread the weight on the sand because larger the surface area they will come in contact with the sand, the pressure will be less on the sand and they will not go downward towards the sand. No, So that is why they have the large fit. Secondly, they have thick fur on the back of their body so that they can give a proper shelter or a shade on their body as well as they have the thin fur all around their body which will help them to allow the heat loss because as you already know during the daytime in the desert, the it is a scorching heat of the sun is there and they need to lose the heat from their body. So this thin fur help them to lose the heat from their body. Fine. Now coming to how much water do they take and how much amount of water do they lose? A very little amount of water do they lose during the urination and perspiration because they need to save the water and conserve the water for a long period of time and then only they will be able to survive for a long period of time without water. Right, And the fourth very, very important thing is they can tolerate their body temperature up to 42 degrees Celsius. Can you imagine? Like the normal body temperature of our body, if you think, is 37 degrees centigrade. Okay, or if we think about the Fahrenheit, it will be 98.6 degree Fahrenheit. But the camels can tolerate the body temperature up to 42 degrees Celsius because of the surrounding heat. They can adapt over there. Understood? Yes. Now, for all these features, along with their usefulness is in carrying the huge load from one place to another across this scorching hot desert, they have given a different name. Do you know what is the common name which is given to the camel? Have you ever heard of it? Yes. They are known as popularly as the ship of the desert. Why? Because they carry the people as well as the cargo and a huge load from one place to another across the desert. So as you see that the ships carry the huge load across the sea. So in the desert, the camel carry a huge load across the desert and that is why they are known as the ship of the desert. Up to this much clear and they can go without Huge amount of water means very little amount of food and water will be available for them to survive in that condition. Okay, now let's discuss some of the interesting fact about the camels. First of all, these camels can be divided into three main types depending upon where do they live. First of all is the Arabian camel. Uh, they generally are found in Arab. Secondly, the Bactrian camel which are found in like Asia continent. Uh, thirdly, the wild Bactrian camels. So, we can find three types of camels in all around the world. Now, they have many adaptations because they have to survive in the harsh conditions of the desert. You know? And they can hydrate quickly. They can drink a huge amount of water in one go. Like in 10 minutes, they can uh, drink 26 gallons of water. So, they drink that and they uh, generally keep them and survive for a long period of time without the water. Okay. And uh, other than this, they are very social animal, communicate with each other among themselves by using the different types of sounds. They can understand their language. And uh, for us, they provide the meat and milk, which we get and generally the desert people, the people near the desert region, they are dependent upon the camel for their meat and milk. Along with that, they help in the transportation system, which by which they carry a huge load from one place to another across the desert. 
okay so these are all about the camel and i hope that you have already en um, enjoyed this session and you have come to know about a lot about the camels no so thank you very much for st uh, staying till the end we are going to come with another session with another science fact so before that let me remind you please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you will never miss any of the update of the upcoming sessions okay and do not forget to like comment and share also so we will meet in another session then bye bye take care stay safe then okay